time now to get a full check of the forecast. And Juan, what can we expect uh, as folks head out the door? I know yesterday I cut the yard and it was just plain hot. You and me both. And uh, I think I had uh, about eight gallons of water that was sitting nearby and that's going to continue to be the case for today, folks. Yesterday, though, we topped off at 97 degrees. Yet another uh, day to add to August for above normal. And we're going to do it to start off September as well. It's hard to believe it's already the month of September. But we got 74 97 yesterday. Thankfully, staying away from that record of 103 set back in 2000. Of course, no rainfall yesterday, but still holding on to over 12 inches above normal. And the wind was a little bit more brisk yesterday as we topped off at about 22 miles per hour outdoors right now. As soon as you make your way out, all that humidity is going to be uh, greeting you as soon as you make your way out that door. 79 degrees with a light south southeasterly wind at six miles an hour. Now, as we look at it here on the hour by hour forecast, as we continue on already into the lower 90s by 11 o'clock, notice that the wind begins to pick up just a little bit. So another breezy day out there south south Easterly at 10 to 20. Not quite as hot or maybe a right about 96 97 for the afternoon high, but we'll still see the opportunity for a couple of little isolated showers today. Uh, that'll be the change versus yesterday. But again, many of us not going to participate, so we'll have to watch that pretty closely. Still looking for the triple digits for many of our inland communities about 93 off in Port Aransas, 95 towards Flower Bluff and the Naval Air Station. And look at those uh, heat index values around 107 to 114. Once again, keep that uh, water bottle close by folks. If if you're going to be working outdoors again, winds on the breezy side for today. Tomorrow went on ahead and picked it up again as well, 10 to 20. But as we head towards Friday and on into Saturday, those winds will continue to relax as well. So that's certainly some good news. So that means beach conditions will be improving too. Don't forget that you can always head over to ChrisTV.com slash beach conditions to get the latest. But today, Thursday on into Friday, it's looking pretty good out there. The rip current risk will be low, so you continue uh, to want to use caution out there. So here's the weather pattern. We talked about this yesterday. That big dome of high pressure in place, but today we have a little bit more tropical moisture that will be streaming in off the Gulf of Mexico. That will lead to isolated showers and becoming obviously more uh, scattered as we head towards a Friday time frame for us here before the high pressure begins to come right back down and will cut off our uh, tap of tropical moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. So we see it here on the uh, future clouds and rain starting off once again near the coastline and those will continue to push into the inland areas as we go throughout the afternoon with the afternoon sea breeze as well. But again, a good majority of us not participating a couple of showers by early tomorrow morning and then on into the afternoon. Once again, we have that opportunity for just a couple of little isolated showers. Once again, as far as rainfall amounts are concerned, those will vary widely. If you get under one of the thunder shower activity, it could pick up a quick a quarter inch to half an inch of rain in the long term, though, all the way towards next Wednesday only looking at about a half an inch of rain across the region as well. So we'll keep a close look on that. We are continuing to track the tropics out there. Here's Tropical Storm Larry off of Africa. It's a forecast to make its way to Cat 3, but again, it's far removed from us here. Scattered showers to the end of the week, a hot weekend ahead, and even on into next week, middle to upper 90s.